Shalom. Call her law, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kakwadash, that's given all praise to the Most High. In the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Devil honest our teachers, the elders, and apostles of Great Millstone, who taught us His truth, and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. Um, My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon Camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And real quick, I want to go into this article. It says, just in, rifle-toting Florida woman went on shooting spree during eclipse because God told her to, police say. All right, so this, this Eve woman right here, okay, dread ahead of Eve woman. She went on a shooting spree because God told her to during the eclipse. All right, she was toting the rifle, AR-15. AR All right, now I'm going to grab, um, I'm going to grab, uh, you know, this is you know, X forming on his Twitter. But I want to grab it in, in uh, on a news break. It says, woman says God, quote unquote, in relation to solar eclipse, prompted her to go on Florida shooting spree. All right. I'll read a little bit of this article. But um, first, I want to say this is just another way for them to demonize, you know, uh, the worship of God. OK, which the scriptures talk about. There are Lord's many and God's many. So what God do you serve? A lot of people they're serving demons, but we know, you know, during that eclipse, you had CERN opening up portals, you had um, NASA shooting rockets off into the sky, you had a lot of things going on, you know, and this is a spiritual war. So this woman doing this, you know, that was all a spiritual attack. All right. Um, it says a Georgia woman is in custody after going on a shooting spree in northern Florida, according to Florida Highway Patrol, when Taylon's uh, Celeste, um, Celestine. 22 only 22 years old checked out of a hotel telling staff she was going on a shooting spree directed by god in relation to her to the solar eclipse the bitch had demons on her she said she was going on a shooting spree she told the hotel staff that she was going on a shooting spree directed by god um celestine driving a purple dodge challenger with georgia plates got on interstate 10 at the uh, 112 mile marker and traveled westbound she is accused of firing multiple shots into other vehicle into another vehicle striking the passenger's car several times the driver was struck by glass fragments and grazed on the arm by a bullet he was able to steer his vehicle onto the shoulder of the road f um fhp says celestine Continue westbound on I-10 and fire a gun at another vehicle near the 107 mile marker, hitting the driver in the neck. The victim was taken to a nearby hospital and is currently receiving treatment. Responding troopers located Celestine near the 96 mile marker and conducted a felony traffic stop. After she was taken into custody, troopers recovered an AR-15, a 9mm handgun in her car. Celestine was taken into custody without incident and taken to the Holmes County Jail where she is being booked on the following char charges. Attempted murder, aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, and proper discharge of firearm. Um, and that's it. All right, so there you go. All right. Which, you know, first we're going to start off with this right here. I'm done with that. Let's go here. This is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. It says, See that ye walk circumspectly. Not as fools, but as wise. You got to know what time we're in, man. This is a time of great death and destruction. You know, spiritual attacks. You got people that got demons on them, you know. And you jakes out here that's walking around with these guns. What was she doing with an AR-15 and, and a 9mm? And some damn dreads in the head. That shows you that Jake is just lost and confused. And because of that, these demons are going to jump on you and they're going to use you. You know, that woman had demons on her. It says... See then that you walk circumspectly. Be paying attention, looking around. Even though you're on a road, you gotta be paying attention because motherfucker can be having a, a a demonic episode and start, you know, dumping at your car while 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 you're driving. And she she grazed one guy in the neck apparently, man. You know she she shot one guy in the neck. The other guy got grazed by a bullet in the arm. So you could be riding down the road down 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 the highway and you could just end up getting shot at. You know this is the, the world that we're living in now, the valley of the shadow of death. All right. It says redeeming the time because the days are evil. We have some very evil or bad times. Okay, so in these bad times, expect the worst. Okay, pray for the best and expect the worst. It says, um, 
Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Right. So you got to understand what the will of the Lord is. And the Lord's will is that this place be destroyed. OK, let me see if I can grab this. Here we go. Because they said she was she was directed by God to go on a shooting spree, which what God do you serve? OK, because everybody said they, they believe in God. But what God do you serve? It says first Corinthians chapter eight, verse um, three, it says, let me see. But if uh, verse three, if any man love the most high, the same is known of him as concerning their, therefore the eating of those things that are offered and sacrificed unto idols. We know that an idol is nothing in the world. And that there is none other God but one. So there's only one true God. Okay. It says, For though there be called, so like, for though there be that are called gods, whether in heaven or in earth, as there are, does there be gods many and lords many? You see? So there's many different gods upon this earth that people worship. Let me grab an NLT. It says, There be, there's, oh yeah, it's beautiful. It says, There be, there, there may be so called gods. Both in heaven and in, and on earth, and some people actually worship many gods and many lords, and that's the that's the, that's the reality. You people are worshiping many gods, and it's it's false gods, deities, demons, really, you know. And it had to be Eve doing it, man. You know, 22 years old, I heard shooting people, you know, I I, I you know, on the highway. That shows you these people have demons on them, and as we come into this time, you know, getting closer closer to 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 to, to the to the to the end of this place. These demons are going to amp up. All right, let me grab this. Is Second Ezra chapter thirteen, verse um, <clears throat> verse twenty nine. It says, "Behold, the days come when the Most High will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth, and He shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth, and one shall over undertake to fight against another." One city against another, one place against another, one people against another, and one realm against another. And you got CERN opening up these portals and stuff. You know, as they say, they they fire back up the CERN, and they're they they are you know they're pretty much you know fighting you know, or or, or releasing spirits upon this place. You know, so these spirits are jumping on people, and like I said, it's a spiritual battle. Okay, hey, it's it's not the flesh, you know. We wrestle not against flesh or blood, but against spirit, spirit, uh, uh, principalities and spirit, spirit, and spiritual, you know, spirits in high places. Roughly paraphrasing. So these demons are out here, and they're going and they're going to get amped up at you know for following this uh, eclipse, man. Um, another thing I want to say about the eclipse, which y'all, that was a great sign from Yahweh Bashi Shai. That right there shows the end of Esau's kingdom. And I meant to mention this in my video uh, yesterday. If you remember the movie Birth of a Nation, before he went on that on that um on that slave revolt, he 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 got that sign of an eclipse. All right, it was a sign of an eclipse. So that was spiritual that they showed you that in that movie. All right, because that's the time we're coming into. It's about to be end end the end of our captivity and the 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 fall of America. All right, so you jakes that don't get right, you're gonna be you 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 you're gonna be caught out here. It says, and the time shall be when these things shall come to pass, and the sign shall happen, which I shew thee before, and then shall my son be declared, whom thou sawest, as a man descending, as a man ascending. Right. So the Lord is coming back, because we, we the Lord is showing us these signs in earth, showing that the Lord is about to make His second coming. Okay. But before that is going to be great death and destruction in the earth. It says, and when all the people hear this, vo hear His voice, every man shall in their own land leave the battle they have one uh, against another and an innumerable multitude shall be gathered together as th thou sawest them willing to come and to overcome him by fighting right because you're going to have you know a war in heaven which is going to be uh, this world's militaries Esau's militaries their air forces you know and then they're all going to come together you know and try to fight against Yahweh Yahweh Shai and the holy angels all right. So we are this this is like I said this is a spiritual battle. Let me go here. Okay? Because you got spirits out here, man. You got spirits out here. And this this is all in the spirit, so bear with me. 
But you got spirits out here that, that that's ready to do the will of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. It says, um, this is Ecclesiasticus chapter 39. <sighs> so lucky. Ecclesiastes chapter 39, verse 27. All these things are for good to the godly, so to the sinners they are turned into evil. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In a time of destruction they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. And you Jake's men that you know forsook your whole Bashim Al Shai, the Lord's going to give you over to those gods that, that, that you call yourself servant, you know, over him. And really the there there there's only one true God, so those are demons. Those are idols. You know, you got Jake that be in all kind of different stuff now, man. You see, you saw those nappy ass dreads on the head, and you know, Jake be into all different kind of stuff. And what's gonna happen is those demons are gonna use you and um, you know. To, to to further bring in the will of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, you know this may bring in you know this is going to help further you know the famine of hearing the word, uh, bringing in Jacob's trouble. It says hell and fire, fucking fire and hell, and it was hell and bullets, <laughs> okay, and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Now I don't think anybody actually died, but that's just a uh, you know hey, that's a warning from Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. What's to come? You know, that the demon that was on her was literally riding down the street, looking into people's cars, and whoever she saw fit, she started shooting at the cars, trying to kill that person. You know, those, those, those were spirits, man. And if you hold Bashim Yahweh and the angels ain't with you, guess what? Then them spirits are going to jump on you. You never know when you could be riding down the street and somebody start dumping at your car, man. This is the reality that we are, we are, we are living in here in the Valley of the Shadow of Death. It says, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. It says, um, they shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. You see, so these demons are going to do what those created to do. And, and, and that's to bring hell upon this earth. OK, to, to, to really destroy you people. And this is why we tell you to repent and seek your whole body. Let me grab this too. one of my favorite scriptures. Was that Joshua 10? Yeah. Let's grab that real quick. Oh no, I think it's Judges 10. So lucky. Yeah, I think it's Judges 10. Let me go here. Judges chapter 10. Because you 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 gonna you gonna see the the, the fear you have about Shemuel Shai in these last days. It says, Judges chapter 10 verse 13. Yet you have forsaken me and served other gods. Wherefore I will deliver you no more. And you Jakes, you have forsaken you have about Shemuel Shai. And you rather serve other gods. So the Lord said, hey, I ain't dealing with you no more. I ain't delivering you, you you no more. Guess what? Go serve them gods that you've been serving. And, and see if they deliver you in that day. Because guess what? Them same gods are going to be the ones that jump on your ass and make you bug out and do some demonic shit. Weird stuff. You know? It says, go and cry unto the gods that you have chosen and let, let them deliver you in a time of your tribulation. A lot of these jakes, they think they're African. You know, they worshiping these, you know, these uh, comedic gods and stuff, man. You know, Jake, a lot of Jake into witchcraft now. You know, it's a lot of weird shit going on. You supposed to be mindful of this company you keep too, man. You don't want to be around these individuals because they ain't strapped too tight. It says, go and cry unto the gods which you have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. So, yeah, go go and cry to, to, to them same gods when they jump on your ass and have you demonically put a uh, zest. I heard doing, you know, all kind of wickedness. All right. It says, and the children of Israel said unto Yahweh, we have sinned. Do thou unto us whatsoever seemeth good unto thee. Deliver us only, we pray thee, this day. And they put away the strange gods from among them and served Yahweh. And his soul was grieved for the misery of Israel. Right, and that's what we're going to be coming back to Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Okay, let me grab that. Bethink. Because this is why the prophets are out here, man. You know, giving you this, this, this stern warning to repent. Come to Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Because it's about to get ugly out here, bro. And if you don't have Yahweh by Shemel Shai on your side, you you are going to be a target. Not only, you know, by demons, but people that got demons on them. <laughs> you know? It's going it's gonna, it's gonna to get ugly out here. It says Second Chronicles 6, verse 37. If yet, if they bethink themselves in the land where they are carried captive and turn and pray until... And turn unto thee in the land of their captivity. 
saying we have said and or we have done amiss and have dealt wickedly. And this is the first thing you have to take accountability. We have to understand that we all have gone off. We all have trespassed against Yahweh by Shimon Shai. And the Lord wants you to confess that, not say and try to hide it out like you ain't do no wrong. No, you got to confess that to Yahweh by Shimon Shai. It says, if they return to thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their captivity, which we're in the land of our captivity, whether they have like here, whether they have carried them captives and pray toward their land, you know, which we in America, so we pray towards the east. He says, which thou gavest unto their fathers and toward the city, which thou has when toward the city, which thou has chosen and toward the house, which thou have built in thy name. Then hear thou from the heavens, even from thy dwelling place, their prayer and their supplication and maintain their cause and forgive thy people which have sinned against thee. And that's what the Lord is doing. He is forgiven our people. But the majority of our people are going to be destroyed here, man. This is complete two third behavior. It says now my my power, let let I beseech thee, thine eyes be open and let thine ears be attent unto the. Unto the prayer that is made in his place. Now, therefore, arise, O Yahweh, power, into thy resting place, thou and the ark of thy strength. Let thy priests, O Yahweh, power, Yahweh, Bashmal Shai, be clothed with the salvation, and let thy saints rejoice in goodness. O Yahweh, power, turn not away thy, the face of the of thine anointed. Remember the mercies of thy servant David. And that's what we're going to need in these last days, man. Okay, the Lord to remember the mercies of David, because we all, you know, fall short. We all, you know, are a wretched, oh, wretched man that I am. But first thing is you, you have you have to acknowledge that, you know, coming back to you, by Shemal Shai. Zechariah 13, verse 8, and it shall come to pass in that in that that in all the land of America, saith Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third part shall be left therein. So two thirds of our people are going to be, you know, left here to be destroyed, man. Jake is too far gone. You know, Jake is through. So the Lord on this type of time is like, hey, forget these niggas, man. You know? To hell with them. So that's why you 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 you're getting this warning. You know? And, and nobody gonna be able to say that they ain't know. And nobody gonna be able to say, oh, I had no idea. Oh, nobody told me. Well, you know, brother's doing these videos daily. Multiple videos a day, going out to the camp every week, faithfully, man. So you can't say you ain't know because the man of the Lord been out here telling you, warning you, you know. Let me say, let me say, Shalom, coming sure I love Baba Ball.